All right, I didn't film this because, I mean, it's running hoses. You've seen that a bunch of times before. Probably the single most common comment I got was, don't use the lay flat hose. I agree, and now it's been changed. So you can see, I've got a wire spiral vacuum hose or whatever. I also got the uh, manual bilge pump run in. That's just a big strainer so that, I mean, if this is running, the, boat pro the water probably got above the floorboards, so there could be debris in the water. That big strainer helps make sure that like if a t-shirt or something gets up against it, water can still get through, hopefully. That is now done. Obviously, it's not run back there yet, but you can see everything under the floorboards are done. Um, I poured some bleach in here because uh, you might have heard me mentioning it stinks. It didn't stink today, but I, I shocked the uh, bilge just to make sure nothing was alive in there. So I've poured some water into it. I've got to get, uh, I don't know where the bucket is, my, my seven gallon water jug. I'm going to go get another one of those and dump it in. I had to drill a new hole there and there. The new one I drilled actually goes under here, so I didn't have to bring it into here. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but it's a nice little bit of stowage. Ah, oh, whatever, that's for later. Okay, I am going to get back to work. All right, mind me rushing. I did a little cell phone camera footage showing what I've done, so I'm not gonna go over that even though I've got the good camera out because I'm losing the sun and I want to try these bilges now that I've replaced the hoses. I thought I had a leak from one of these two, so I filled the V-Birth tank and I filled the port tank and there's no water leaking yet. So I'm gonna assume there's no leak, at least for now, and take these off. Oops, where'd that go? Okay, why is... I put five gallons in that front tank. Why are you not coming out? That's well below the bottom of the tank. Do I have a blockage? Yeah, I must have had a blockage. There we go. And that's why tools on a boat never last. Okay. Can you please? There. Ah! Okay, well that's good enough. Let's uh, let that fill up. I want to get the uh, big one underwater and then I'll start the uh, bilges. Almost. Now, I should mention, I don't have the anti-siphon loop in, so this is going to have to send it up a fair bit and comes back down again before it starts to drain out because I shoved the excess up under the combing. So I expect it to take a minute between when I turn it on and water actually starts going out the back. And this is really flexible hose, which made it great for routing, but I imagine it's going to want to flop about when it actually starts uh, pumping water. Ew, lots of dead bugs. Okay, pumps underwater. Let's go turn it on. Both the manual. Holy shit, that was fast. <laughs> now it's just the small one going. Look at the backwash. Oh, did I have the hose blow off? No, there's, it's dry in there. <laughs> That's a good amount. Oh, I wish I had seen that, but I got it on that camera so I can see it after. All right. Now I really want to flush out the uh, chlorine or the bleach. So I'm going to let these tanks finish drying, draining. I hope that came across on camera. I was standing back there, so I think you had a better view, but it looked like the back sucked the water so fast that it actually was unlevel in the bilge. Holy shit. Oh, that's awesome. I know the manual said, don't use a uh, check valve, but I don't like how much water is backflowing whenever the pump turns off. You can see how quickly it's cycling. Now, granted, I have a lot of water coming in, but still, one thing I am thinking of doing instead, and I'm gonna experiment with is, I have got the galley sink right there. If I put a little pump, like an aquarium pump in there, and I run a little hose up, and I come around the top and down and I tap into the very top of the galley sink drain, that might help me get the bilge to damn near dry. 
and then this wouldn't be a concern. Like this would get the bulk water out if I had it in, but for just regular little bits coming in, the fish pump or the aquarium pump or whatever, I put a little float, I don't know. Point is, get a dry bilge pump of some sort set up. Okay, this was not a full episode. This was just a follow-up to the last video. A lot of folks were saying, get rid of the lay flat hose. I am, I'm sad that I spent a hundred bucks on the lay flat hose, but as boat oopsies go, a hundred bucks is not the worst thing in the world. And I might have a use for it yet. I can't wait to edit this and see how much water came out. I mean, but how much came out of here? Because it dumped so quickly that, I mean, I didn't see it run for long. Oh, also, I was checking. That, with a hornet's nest in it, is the manual bilge pump outlet. So I need to get a hose. Uh, I think I have enough leftover hose that when I tap into the bilge pump, I have next, enough to go over to there, but that one's not set up yet. So we're not done, 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 but we're getting there. All right, it is very late. I did a thing, it wasn't that big, so I didn't record it, but let me show you now. Okay, so without the check valve, when the pump turns off, all of the water that's in these hoses, all the way to the back, drains back out. The previous owner, had a check valve right here, but as I mentioned in the last video, the rule manual says, a dead bug, the rule manual says not to use a check valve. So I debated ignoring that and putting one in anyway, like the previous owner had done, assuming they were doing it largely for cover your ass. So if the check valve sticks and the pump can't discharge water and the boat sinks, you can't go and sue rule slash asylum. But while I was at the chandlery talking to the lady there, she pointed me to this tiny little guy. It is the IL200, a 200 gallon per hour, half inch submersible pump. Now it doesn't have a float switch. I might add one later, but what I did is, oh, that's too bright. I ran the wiring up through here. This is on just a little five amp breaker. It's rated for 4.5 amps, so that should be plenty. And then uh, I've got it connected like I did before, except because it's a really simple portable pump, it's not meant to be used as a traditional gym bilge pump. It doesn't have the three wire for the auto and manual. And it also doesn't have an additional, it doesn't have an additional panel. It's just a simple little pump I'm going to use to drain it, to deal with getting the bilge more dry. If I've heard that 2000 gallon go off, I can come over here and there it goes. So that should get it down far enough that now the float switch is not very close to coming on. I mean, look how long it's running. Now there's no screw holding it in. It's just press fit behind the strainer for the manual bilge pump. And right now I have it just dumping into the galley sink. Obviously I don't want that long term. Oh, is it done? Looks like it's done. Almost. Yep, there we go. The other thing I plan to do later is put a manual switch here, a momentary contact so I could just lift it up, run it for as long as I want to, and then let it go so I don't have to run back and forth to the breaker and I can leave the breaker on and just flip this on when I need it. Or I might put the switch up on the bulkhead. I don't know, I'll think about it later. But this, I obviously don't wanna have dumping into the galley sink all the time. So my current plan is, as you can see, these hoses are shot. So you see how this here is the foot pump drain to drain the fridge. Well, because obviously ice and stuff's gonna melt down there. So what I'd like to do is something like that, but have it right at the top, hopefully a Y that comes in like this. And then I can take this hose, loop it up really high so that it's well above the water line of the boat and have it come in like this. And then that would discharge the bilge water into the sink drain, keeping it out of the sink itself. But for now, I'm just gonna dash it away. Much, much, much drier. When I started this, the water was almost up to the top of this. It wasn't over this, but it was pretty darn close. So you can see how much it's kind of pumped out. So that cost me like 50 bucks and I'll say, 70 bucks by the time you add in the uh, five. Oh, this self amalgamating tape is not working. I'm gonna have to try that again. Anyways, one thing at a time. By the time I put in the five amp breaker and the wire and whatnot, it's probably closer to 70 bucks. But honestly, I think that is money well spent. Okay, 
It's midnight, I'm going to bed. Good night. coming out of the head at the marina. Check this out. I have no idea what this is. I don't recognize that logo. <laughs> Someone's using it as a commercial vehicle. <laughs> oh my lord. That is astounding. <laughs>